Hello, big world. It's KJ Cool here. Let's go. Drama. No chats about Iggy Boo Boo today because you know why? I'm over it. She's a dickhead and she's just playing games and I'm sick of it. And by the way, I do other content and I'm going to start doing other content because I'm sick of the corrupt system we're under. Just how it is, hey? I got to play their game if I want to play the game. So this is how it is. I'm going to talk about someone I actually really detest and think is a vile human being to be on any platform. She's making Iggy Boo Boo look like a bloody angel, I swear. Let's get into it. Playmate Tessie, you foul excuse for a human being. She's been banned off Twitch, she's been banned off Instagram, and now she's found her dirty, evil ways onto YouTube. She'll be gone soon. Don't worry about it. She is equal to Lovely Peaches, in my opinion. Because anybody, anybody out there that wants to hurt an animal, they're on my hit list. And I swear to God, I've never seen a girl so demented, mentally challenged, and just a sick beep. You feel me? And another thing to all the ignoramuses out there, all of this is my opinion. Yes, I collect facts. But yes, I give my opinion. I'm not the friggin' news and I don't need to say allegedly, okay? I've said it at the beginning. Everything is my opinion and based from facts that I find. You got it? Let's go. Before I get into this, I want to explain to you why I feel so passionate about what I'm going to talk about. That's my beautiful boy, Otis. You see his little face? He's got a grumpy little face. I got two cats, Murphy and Otis. But Otis is the one in particular that makes me feel very passionate about psychopaths on the internet torturing animals for clout, for humor, for I don't know what. But as you can see, Otis has a leg missing and half a tail missing because a psychopathic neighbor used to threaten me that if he came in his yard, he'd deal with him. So one day, little cute Otis went into his yard. What this mother effing mental patient do? He kicked him with a steel cap boot. He broke his pelvis shattered his leg, and he physically broke his tail in half. Great people, great people. Now, this stupid bitch that keeps going on about how she hates a cat and she's going to cut a cat and all the rest of it, I'm going to show you the clips, has got me very fired up because, man, who talks like that? Sick people talk like that, don't they? Oh, and they want to... I found this little article, why do people torture animals? Well, they want to shock, they want to intimidate, and they want to demonstrate rejection of society's rules. That's probably what she's doing. And they also might, the person that they're trying to intimidate or threaten might adore animals. I mean, most people adore their animals, but this girl pretends that she hates hers. Who does that remind you of, hey? Lovely peaches, clout chasing psychos. Now, they're the real ones that should be off youtube or any platform iggy boo boo falls by the sideline in my opinion because she's not torturing animals she's just torturing herself i feel strongly more about people that torture innocent beings than torturing themselves sorry guys but it's just how i'm built you want to torture an animal in front of me you want to be racist in front of me that is the type of stuff that i'm going to get fired out about you want to torture yourself fucking go for it you dickheads no, she will. Molly can't do sh She's a worthless little i Molly's gonna meet my knife if she breaks in. She better not come back or she will meet my knife. She'll meet my knife. <laughs> she could meet my knife. I'm not trolling. I should have cooked Molly. Molly's roaming on the streets traumatized. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Why do you guys miss Molly? She's ugly. She's ugly. She's worthless. Why miss her? Recycle pet day. <laughs> Recycle pet day. What? Oh, uh, no, Molly's life didn't matter. Molly lives don't matter. <laughs> Coming to you, kitty. Bye bye, kitty. I'll be back. Go tight in a pet. Meow. Honda Civic just get trashed. That's meow. Honda Civic go broom, broom. R.I.P. That cat. You're more poor than Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Kitty flat because of Honda Civic. Bye, kitty. <laughs> kitty flat because of. 
So as you can see, she is taunting her cat, hurting it, it's hissing, it's mowing, it's not happy. This sore excuse for a human piece of trash is doing this, laughing her head off, thinking, oh my God, I'm going to get so many viewers. It's like, why are platforms given to sick mother effing people? You know, Iggy Boo Boo's sick and she does influence a lot of people. No doubt about it. But once you're hurting animals, like this girl, Repzilla did a video on her. I've heard of her. I've heard of the stuff that she's done. She's done a lot of bad stuff, obviously, to be removed from many platforms. But hurting animals, man, what do you get out of it? What do you get out of hurting an animal? I ask. Hurting an animal for views. Torturing an animal for views. And there's only one person I can really think of who did this, and that's Lovely Peaches. And guess where she is? Oh, shock, horror. She's either in jail or a mental institution, one or the other. So keep going, Tessie, you messy bish. And we know where you're going to end up real soon, so just keep up the great work. Because the more we got on you, the more chance you'll be taken down to Funky Town, where all the other a-holes live. And as I say, it's not a nice place in Funky Town. There ain't no funky music. It's just funky ass skanky shite coming out of people's mouths. They all get taken down there. It's just we got the a good bit is. to unpack here to explain to you exactly the depth of this uh, person and the lengths that she goes to on the internet. And now a lot of people want to say that this person's a troll, but this person's not a troll. Any person that does these kinds of things that harm people animals anything like that that's not trolling behavior this is a wannabe lovely peaches if anything uh, i mean i haven't seen that she's you know ate her own poop but at this point i really wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised but uh don't worry rep when they all go to funky town they all eat their own poop because it's coming out their mouths i don't know whether it's coming in coming out don't worry about it i 100 percent agree with you people who hurt animals or children innocent sentient beings for views for clout are sick mother effers but on the other side of that which is what you're pointing to is that it generally leads on to bigger and better things you want to hurt an animal you're gonna you're gonna move on check out this little bit of an article i found you see in the last paragraph that the research has established a strong association that people who commit acts of cruelty towards animals rarely stop there wow not news to me, but seems to be news to YouTube. Such cruelty is often a marker of a perpetrator with a higher tendency towards violence. Now, this girl is violent, and her violence comes out of her mouth, the stuff that she says. Yeah, she hurts her cat, and she's hurt her cat a lot, and I still can't fathom that the SPCA hasn't been there, but hopefully if we do enough videos on her, they will. Look what happened to Boo Boo. But then again, Boo Boo just, I just went on a tour of the police station. <laughs> you speak out your ass, Boo Boo. That's why I've had a gutful of you. Because there's only so much one human can take. I can't take lies. I have no time for lies. And the lies that come out your mouth are beyond. Let's get back to this bish and how I see her. A lot of people might not know that lovely peaches. Let me just give you a little taste of this incredibly sick, sick human being. And thank God she's locked up. That's all I have to say. I'm going to kill dog food and I will be recorded it. I am going to start a animals. I am going to start Puppies and cutting their wee wee off. Troglodyte madness. That's all I have to say. This woman used to threaten torturing her baby. Her baby was taken off her, but the stuff that came out of her mouth was revolting. I made a video on her once and YouTube took it down because why? Oh, that's right. I can't illuminate stories about psychopaths on your platform when she still had a channel and was getting AdSense, but that's beside the point, isn't it? She's picking up her dog, holding him very aggressively. She said that she was, she broke its leg because it did a pee on the ground. And that's what just sent the cops there. That's not even a joke. Who even says that? Oh, that's right. Unhinged troglodytes with the IQ of 60, like this bish I'm talking about messy tessie and rotting peaches man there really is some sick people out there and i've experienced it firsthand with what happened to my boy otis and you guys you're on your way so 
lock them up, report them, you know? Took a year to get Lovely Peaches off the YouTube platform and for anyone to listen. Now we've got a new one. So report, report, report. And if you're unsure about Lovely Peaches or Messy Tessie, there is a plethora of videos on these two people. I'm not going into their past today because I'm mainly focusing on the abuse of animals and how disgusting of a serial killer in the making. Give me attention on the internet. I say, Joe, that's not the attention you want. See, police, that ain't the attention you want. Not for no followers. Have you ever been diagnosed with anything? Hey, I need to be a very positive, great woman. There's depression. Depression, bipolar, anything like that? Yeah, I have a lot of depression. Just depression. And then anxiety. Anxiety? Yeah, okay. I mean, is there a reason you do what you do? So someone will sign you and you can live good? Okay. All right. I mean, I, like I said, I, I, mean, I don't... I don't make sense. I want to do life with me, my dad, and my daughter. I don't see you being bad. No, there's nothing wrong with that. But some of the antics you pulled on Instagram, it's just, it's not normal. You know, but that's why I have so many followers. You only had 459 followers. No, I don't. It's a fan page. It's a fan page? You have 1.1 million followers. How much money do you get from Instagram? Um, I have problems with this. I can make like a thousand. Oh, okay. Thousand a week? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
she did all this for like she did with the dog. Sick, sick, sick. It's actually a modern day outrage. So that's good. Um, yes, I do abuse my baby. Got punched, I slipped, I punched, I slapped, I kicked my baby. Got be kicking her in the head. I literally one time dropped on her head until she started bleeding out her mouth. She was bleeding out her motherfucking mouth. And I never kiss her. I ain't, I ain't used to it. I was like, bitch. <laughs> Rotting Peaches is gone. But the thing that got me pretty fired up yesterday is that our buddy Repzilla, he, he's the one that did this video and enlightened me even more so about this disgusting, messy Tessie. So anyways, she made a diss track yesterday and I was like, it's not even funny. It's actually just quite hateful. I don't know if it's legal to eat turtles, but she said she did. And I know it's just a diss track, but it's just... Because he made a video about her abusing her cat. This was her return. And in my opinion, it doesn't make sense. She is an unhinged unit and honestly needs full psychiatric care because <laughs> it's uh, clearly evident, wouldn't you say, buddies? Check out a little snippet of her awesome talent and rapping skills. I wow. Eat turtles, bitch. Wanna save Molly? Well, bitch, that's never gonna happen. By Zilla, unemployment Zilla, lying ass Zilla, poor Zilla, leech Zilla, 1999 Elmo hair having ass Zilla. You're fucking ugly Zilla, bitch Zilla, no talent having ass bitch Zilla, lazy concert three months late Zilla, scamming ass motherfucker. I told you she was a lovely, lovely girl to take home to meet the parents. <laughs> Man. So Repzilla always puts positivity turtles in his chat and he's made t-shirts. So that's why she eats turtles. Yeah, go, go girl. Uh, I think it's a federal offense. Well, it is in our country. Uh, it is completely illegal. Protected species. And she just goes on and on. And she says he's scamming because he does fundraisers for... Um, I think it's some abuse organization for for women or I, I don't really know. Sorry, man. And she says he's scamming. So she's just letting it rip, saying that no one can save Molly. Molly's the cat. Like, man, there's a lot wrong with this girl, as there was with Rotting Peaches. She's only been on YouTube because she got thrown off all the rest. She's been doing live streams. I believe she did one yesterday for, man, I think it was 12 hours. I kept going in there and just sending pure hate because take those videos down where you're torturing your cat you said you wanted to cut your cat and you said a lot of bad stuff there's no coming back from that you can't just do fake apologies and you can't leave that stuff up like what is wrong girl man fired up today otis and i we don't like animal abusers do we o? so we've just got to be on top of these freaks of nature and get them off that's how i see it that's why i was always pretty fired up about getting the stupid lizard off youtube but she's just been sending me crazy lately and i just need a break but you know what this doesn't matter there's other freakazoids out there carrying on it's insane guys and shout out to repzilla for doing this video you guys go watch his vid i'll put it in the link below because He's covered her before, I think, and he's just a good guy. And this mad, mad woman doing a diss track. Next level craziness. Modern day outrage. You feel me? And plus, she's breaking the law. Don't forget about that. Report this bish. Report all the mad bishes. You feel me? You dig? And everybody, salute to Otis, because he is the boss man. He reigned victorious over a nut job. He's living the dream, still catching lizards. Still eating way too much, but you know what? He the man. You the man, Otis. Everyone loves you just that little bit more. Otis, you rock. I love you guts. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Use all your little jazz hands on all those little snazzy buttons. Because you know why? It makes one little koala really happy. And if you sub, let me know, because I will be sending you 50 years of free good vibes. And these days, that is a bloody bargain. Cheers, ballers! I don't care about what you think you see.